Welcome back to Let's Play Gran Turismo 4 Part 82. And once again, I tried to do this and I screwed up. My mic volume was all the way down. But thankfully, I only noticed it in the first race on the first lap. So I didn't waste too much of my time. Anyway, we're doing Z stuff. And uh, I already bought a 350Z. I wanted to get a 300ZX, but... There's only an ugly one in the showroom, so I didn't get it. And, um, yeah, I cannot navigate menus to save my life. I haven't done any upgrades to this. I put wheels on it. Who cares? Clubsy. Five short races. And starting it off at New York for two laps. And because of this lineup, I am going to go ahead and put on some ballast weight because this is going to be way too easy. Even with this ballast weight. I knew I picked something overpowered for this, but... Um, oh well. Get over it. So, three laps. Easy peasy. A whopping 10 A spec points, yay. I might hop in a 280Z for like the last three or two races. I don't know yet. So, um, with GT7 coming out here in a few months, it suddenly occurred to me that I've been severely neglecting this Let's Play series for the longest time, and I really want to get this thing done before GT7 comes out, so... Because of that, I'm going to start doing a Let's Play marathon for at least one week. If I feel like I can handle doing daily Let's Play episodes again, then I will gladly post them on top of the regular content. So that'll mean double uploads for some days. Not every day, but some days. With an LP episode every single day. If I can handle it. If I can't, then... It's just gonna be LPs more often. With regular content mixed in, but not daily. If you know what I mean could have explained that way better, but I'm driving now, so I don't have enough brain... Blame? Brain? Brain ram to fucking process speaking and driving at the same time. Because I'm a big R-word. Oh, there is another 350 here. Bonk. The main thing I want to do is get these stupid one make races done. I can't stand them. But I think once I get... Uh, the Japanese one make races done. Actually, I gotta do the South Korean ones as well, but... Pretty much when all the Asian one make races are done, then I'm probably gonna do another Enduro. I'm not sure exactly which one yet, but... I'm gonna do one of those and then start the special condition medium events. Which hopefully I can use, or well, make the special condition events more entertaining this time around, because I can actually drive on dirt now, as opposed to, oh, was it like a year ago, when I first started, and I was absolutely terrible at it. Sometimes I forget that I've even done like 50% of this game so far and it's all on YouTube. It's crazy to me. This is way too easy. I think I'm just gonna... well... I think a 300 Z... Blah, 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 blah. 
I think a 300ZX would be perfect for this, but there's only a like vanilla silverish one in the showroom, which I do not like at all. If there was a purple one, I'd gladly take it, but there isn't. And I don't want to get the 280Z because that'll be way too slow and I'll have to throw a ton of upgrades on it anyways. I don't know. This whole thing's screwy with trying to get good A-spec points. And I very well could, but I'm preoccupied with other things and I can't just spend so much time on A-spec points alone. And like that, I've run out of things to say. Probably for the better. I really need to take some of these corners better. Not like it matters, but yeah. I've gotten to the stage where I'm getting a few, let's just say, unlikable individuals in my comments. You know what I mean by that. I can just imagine what they're saying, but meh. Who, who cares, like really? Anyways, yep, that was thrilling. I have no words for that. Blah. So, 7,500 credits per race, not bad. And on to race number two. Alright, here we go with race number two at Tokyo for two laps. Ah. Just ah. Uh. I think I'm gonna check the used showroom again after this race to see if there's anything new in there. I'll settle for a white one too, that actually doesn't look that bad. Seeing the back of this one, it reminds me of the new Z that's coming out, the 400Z. Which, I really like the back of it, but the front is just... why? The front looks terrible on that car. And the side profile, it's basically the same thing as a 350Z, almost. But that front end is just horrible. And here goes my cat, begging for attention. She likes to do this every 15 minutes or so. Just the most obnoxious meowing you've ever heard in your life, for no reason. But yeah, Newsy. Pretty cool looking. 
At least the backside and the side, but yeah. Shift me. As far as like other new cars go, um, most of y'all probably know by now I have an FRS and the new GR86 or BRZ is coming out, which my friend's actually getting one. And he should be getting one of the first few because he ordered it like basically the instant they went live. So that would be pretty cool. And uh, I've also been trying to get my other channel started. There have been a few things I needed to do to my car before I actually started filming it. That's why there hasn't been anything yet. And one th other thing I'm trying to figure out is like camera equipment issues. So what I do have for a, it wouldn't be a vlog channel. Who gives a shit about my life, really? It's more so going to be about the things I do and my interests, and it's more, it's like a, um, <clears throat> I don't know if you'd call it an archive channel, because it's just stuff that I like doing, essentially, and I want to put, or well, I, I at least want to film it, so I can look it back on it a few, few years later and be like, yeah, that was tight. But, like, while I'm at it, just go ahead and put it on YouTube at the same time so other people can see it too, and blah. Anyway, uh... Camera equipment. I do not have an audio solution... yet. My camera is a Sony A6000, which does not have a microphone port, which is stupid. And I'm not buying the shotgun hot shoe mic for it. Which is like 140 bucks at this point. I have two GoPro Hero 5s, which they're okay-ish. For 2015. Not for 2021. And I'm doing 4K stuff now, so... Also, my uh, A6000 doesn't do 4K either, so... You gotta figure that one out. Um, pretty much the only audio I'm going to have is a lapel mic that's going to be plugged into my phone. And that's pretty much going to be the only thing I'll be able to use. So, El Capitan, three laps, by the way. Blah. So, essentially, what I'm planning for this other channel is basically uploading whatever the hell I want. If I feel like doing a video on the FRS, that's what it'll be. If I feel like doing a video on, I don't know, hunting or camping, then I'll do it. If I want to make a f cooking video, I'll do it. I don't care. Because I don't want to make a bunch of different channels for every single one of my interests, because that's stupid. But there's plenty of things I do want to make, so... That's pretty much where it's all going to be. This channel is aimed only towards Gran Turismo for now. It might be other racing games down the road, but judging by other channels, I see that post a ton of different racing games. They don't really do that well in terms of like consistency between views and their subscriber count. Whereas for me, I do really freaking good with views for my subscriber count. Because I post the same stuff that people came here for, which makes sense. So yeah, I'll worry about that stuff for this channel, but for the new one, I won't really care. If people like it, they'll like it and they'll watch it. So as far as like projects I do have for that channel, uh, I actually have a carbon fiber spoiler I bought for my FRS a few weeks ago. I made a community post about it. And it's got really bad uh, 
clear coat peeling on it, so I'm going to have to sand it down and respray it, so I'll definitely do a video of that. I have a time attack event I'm going to on Halloween, so there'll be some FRS track footage. I might go to the track before then as well, I'm not sure yet, but we'll just have to see. What else am I thinking? Uh, there's a few cooking videos I want to do, actually, yes. As I mentioned. But that'll just be whenever. And uh, potentially hunting videos, which those are going to be a little bit controversial. And I get it. Some people weren't raised around that kind of stuff, so they might be a little sensitive to it. It just depends on how they react. If they understand, like, oh, you you hunt even though I don't hunt, and I'm not, I'm not really cool with it. But I get it. There's different cultures. People are raised differently, and yeah, things are just done different in certain parts of the world. And I get it. Totally get it. But if they are one of those people who are like, Wow, you animal murderer, you garbage human, you... You re-kid. You could f*** right off. So. Had to say it. If, any, if anybody, like, if anybody shits on you for doing something that's, like, super obvious, in this case hunting, if they shit on you for hunting and shooting an animal, just ask them this one simple question. Where does meat come from? That's all you gotta do. Don't know how this whole video talked or like changed into ranting about people like that, but it's whatever. What else am I gonna do? Sit here and say nothing while you hear the clicking of my paddle shifters on this Logitech G29, which I still haven't gotten to figure her out. Figure around, yes, figure out how to get around the stupid clickiness of them. I kind of want to do that magnet mod, actually. Give it more of a tactile feel. And I also still want to do inverted pedals, but that's a little too much work. I've gotten used to the pedals being on the floor anyways. I don't make enough from this YouTube thing to consider upgrading stuff like this. I'd rather reinvest it into like a better mic or PC parts, which I re I've already done, so I don't know why I would say that. Anything just to help me make better content, really. Oh, hey, the race is over. I forgot I was even racing anybody. Herp derp. But, uh, yeah, enough of this thing. This is way too boring now. Another 7,500, as usual. And let's go check if anything new has arrived. And if not, then I'll just stick with the silver one. Alright, cool, it's updated. Alright, cool, still no 300ZX. Why? Ugh. Well, there wasn't any Z's in there at all, now that I think about it. Well, actually, there might be in the 80s showroom. 
it... Oh my god. But it's the same color as the other one I saw. Eh. But there is this one. Mmm. Nah. We'll just go with... Vanilla. Blah. Fun fact, this car has Lamber Lamborghini da 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 da. Lamborghini Diablo headlights. Or vice versa. The Diablo has 300 ZX headlights. How much power does this have? 253. I think that's gonna be fine. But I will change the oil. Just in case. So Super Speed. Yee. Bazinga. So, uh, I don't need to go there. Quit going there. Back to race number four at Laguna Seca. Well, still no 350Z, so... It, another cakewalk incoming. Oh, boy. This is my life whenever it comes to this Let's Play. Ah. Bonk. Can you, like, not? I like these more than the 350Z anyways. It's gonna shove me off the track, isn't it? I'm just gonna try to, at least. Nice exhaust flames out of this. Can you, like, not be so slow? Please, AI. I really hope the GT7 AI is actually good for once. It's somewhat challenging, but at the same time, I hope it's not like rolling starts where the cars are 50 to 100 feet apart. To where your car has to be overpowered to pass everything in three laps. So, either grid starts or rolling starts where the cars are actually close together. That would be really nice. Or even so, like, instead of just making it super easy, just add different difficulties. And make endurance racing op an option for people. Because they got rid of um, <clears throat> endurance racing in GT6 because the filthy casuals were like, Wah, GT's too hard. I don't want to do enduros. So they removed it for everybody. I hate how games are doing that nowadays. Like, if you want to get 100% on the game, then you freaking play the game. You don't complain, being like, man, it's too hard, I want my easy 100%. Get out of here. Blah. 
play the clip of Trump saying, Get him the hell out of here. That was a terrible impression. I'm sorry you had to hear that. are way too easy. One pill makes you larger. Nice driving. How's a cockpit view? Meh. Big ol' meh. Have you ever noticed the uh, the floating skid marks on this track on PCSX2? I've always thought that was a weird texture glitch. But yeah, it happens on this track and some other one that I forgot, but... Also, rev banging through that corner. Kind of weird. And, uh, yeah... Race is over, by the way, in case you haven't noticed. Her der. Ah. Haven't done seizure time in a while. Another 7,500 credits. Yay. Did you expect anything else? Time for the final race. And ending it off here at Grand Valley Speedway. Two laps. All right, putting the ballast weight back up to uh, 200 again. <clears throat> Doubt it's going to make any difference at all. But just going to show that I try. Not really, but yeah. And uh, that happened. Excuse me, sir, I'm right next to you. Ah. Nani Turisto! Oh! Very thrilling. I gotta say. Oh, 
Okay, get in there, control me. Steer to the left. Steer to the right. Crisscross. Nailed it. What the hell am I doing? I don't know. And just let off the throttle on the back end, just slides on you. As it should. Because there's a few Forza fanboys out there who think that the car should be flipping whenever it turns too much. I am not making that up. They literally do not know that the laws of physics exist. Or that weight transfers a thing. And if they don't know that, then... And it pretty much just tells you everything you need to know about their entire argument. It's bullshit. Uh, okay, chase cam isn't really. Orewa. I'm just gonna say some random weeb word every time I slide. It's like filthy Frank. What Jin Jin did I skin dial? Pretty sure that's how he says it. I don't know. It's been a while. So uh, there we have it. Thing done. Yay. Oh, what am I doing with my life? Uh, yeah. 7,500 credits for the thing. And time for a prize car. And the prize for this thing, I have a feeling I know what it is. It is not what I thought it was going to be. Okay. Well, um. Yay. Totally, totally, totally wrong. And. Yeah, 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 yeah